Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, May 28, 2024. May God be with you today. I hope you are doing well this morning and I hope you are in good health. You know, sometimes we go through life and our experiences sometimes put us in a very uncomfortable place. But the good news is that God is always there to pull us out of that uncomfortableness. And so this morning, if you are in such a place, look to God because God is able to pull you out and to fill your heart with joy and peace. Amen. Our reading today comes to us from Ecclesiastes chapter 1, reading verse 9 to 11. And it says, The thing that had been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Is there anything whereof it may be said? See, this is new. It had been already of old time, which was before us. There is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. Amen. We give God thanks again for his word. And here we are reminded that since the beginning of time up until now, there is nothing new under the sun. There is nothing new. It's like is the same thing keep repeating itself over and over. It might just come a different way. But when you examine it carefully, you realize that there is not much different. It's basically the same thing. So you do the same thing many different ways. Let me put it like that. And as I stated yesterday, life is a cycle. And if life is a cycle, what does a cycle mean? It means that the thing keep repeating over and over and over. And so, as it says, there's nothing new under the sun. So, murder happened where? In the Garden of Eden. Brother kill brother. Isn't that happening today? Has that been happening through the generation coming up? Hatred happened in the Garden of Eden, right? Isn't it happening today? Hasn't it been happening through the generation coming up? And I could go on and on about the different things that has been happening from the dawn of time or since the beginning. But the point that I want us to get is that we see things every day and they might be new to us because maybe it's the first we are really experiencing it or seeing it. But it's not new because it has happened before and it has been happening for a long time. And so what we do, it also contributes whether in a good way or a bad way. So our life must carry meaning if we are to affect the current of things and to point ourselves and others in the right direction. So hatred have always existed from the fall of man till now. And what can you use to counteract that hatred? Love, correct? So the question is, can somebody really come to you and say, you know, oh Ryan, this is new. This has never happened before. No, of course not. Because if you should do a thorough study of history, you would realize that this happened before just in a different way. But the thing about it is because maybe it happened so long ago and somehow it has lost through the times. You know, it has been forgotten and then it automatically just revive against and is the first time it is being experienced by this generation or that generation. We say that it's new. I'll give you a perfect example. Did you know that a lot of the fashions that we see today, they are recycled? Do you remember in olden days when big glasses used to wear? And people used to laugh after people if they see them wearing big glass. And, and now, what is the fashion? Big glass. All it took was maybe a celebrity. Oftentimes, it's a celebrity. Somebody who we look up to or we admire. Some kind of influencer. They do it and they start the trend 
and all of a sudden it becomes cool. Do you remember when people used to wear clothes that had a lot of patchy patchy in it? And it was a fashion then. Or they used to wear all kind of mix, mix, mix color. So that they have on five different color. And it was considered cool then. It was considered fashion then. Until something new came along, then it became something that was distasteful. And if you should wear it, others will laugh at you and say, you can't dress or what kind of ugly clothes that you wear or something of that sort. Yeah. So these things are recycled over and over again. So just keep that in mind that even though you are experiencing this thing for the first time, it's a possibility that it's not new. It has happened before. Amen. And so that is why it is important for us to stick close to Jesus. We need to learn how he does things. Nothing happened by chance. May God continue to bless us and may we continue to seek him as we seek to draw nearer to him. Amen.